That's the approach adopted by the Conservatives in their manifesto for the Holyrood elections. There are giveaways in the Tory package, a council tax discount for pensioners. But there are tough policies too, including a charge on graduates to fund university education. Here's our political editor, Brian Taylor. Katrina, the Tories say they're building on their record in the last Scottish Parliament. Hang on a second, weren't the SNP in power? Well, they were indeed, but the Tories won concessions and bolstered key policies. So now they say they'll maintain the extra 1,000 police on the beat. They'll protect health spending and they say they'll freeze the council tax for another two years. Looking to the future, they chose the futuristic Glasgow Science Centre for their launch. Learn through experience. The Tories back more power for head teachers, new tests for the three R's, and pupils free to leave school at 14 if they're training for a trade. I can't kiss you all. Maybe not, but Annabel Goldie still hopes her blend of tender and tough talking will woo the voters. She says economic problems mean new bills landing on Scottish doormats. The Tories would bring back a £5 prescription charge, although the previous exemptions would still apply. University graduates would pay around £3,600 for each year of study once they're earning enough. And free bus travel would be pegged back, in future only available from age 65. I think above all else that voters are looking to politicians to tell it straight, to tell it as it is, and that's what I'm doing. So I'm quite blunt about the difficulties confronting budget. There are difficulties, but I'm very optimistic about how we address these difficulties. The manifesto shows that actually you can bring cheer in times of challenge. That is how we will give our pensioners a fair deal on tax. Those cheery notes, a £200 council tax discount for pensioner households and more money for health visitors. And her supporters liked plans to bring back short-term prison sentences. We will end automatic early release so that more offenders are actually spending more of their sentence in prison. I wish I had your better muscles on my legs. Likewise, the economy could use a boost. Tories say they'd support private firms to create jobs. And there's new money to repair potholes too. Ah. Oh, Brian is still with us. Brian, we've had the Tory manifesto launch. Tomorrow it's the turn of the Lib Dems. Is that now going to be overshadowed given uh, John Farker Monroe's comments? It's not a great background, is it? I mean, John Farker Monroe has form as a maverick, if you like. He's a consistent dissenter. He was against the, the, his party's coalition with the, the Labour Party in 1999. More recently, he supported a referendum on independence, contrary to party policy, but the, the Lib Dems have had to get used to that, if you like. They've had to uh, love the man and, and tolerate the, the, the dissent. But even by his standards, heaping praise upon a rival party leader on the eve of his own party's manifesto launch is going a little far. But the Lib Dems, well, they just have to live with it. They say they, they spent some time this afternoon trying to clarify the position with him. They couldn't get hold of him for quite some time because he was out campaigning for the Liberal Democrats.